Good morning, everyone. My name is Mike Hodge. I'm a senior consultant with Total Care. And uh, this month of April, I'm doing a financial series. Today, uh, we, I'll be talking about how to do prepayments on open sales orders and how to do prepayments on your open purchase orders. And I'm going to go into a little bit more depth than I did last time on this topic last year because I've got a lot of questions recently about what do I do if the customer pays me more and then they cancel something on the order, the entire order, how do I refund it, how do I handle perform invoices because the tax doesn't transfer. So, so some of these little issues that have come up over the last year have developed some best business practices to help support this process. Okay, so we'll start with everyone can see my screen uh, if you have trouble hearing me just type in a question in the question box I'll be able to see that and uh, at the, I'll try to keep glancing over at the question box so we can answer them while we're doing this together and if need be we'll unmute you so that you, the entire audience can hear your question so okay so for those who have not seen this functionality in the past, uh, sometimes you wanted to, we'll start with sales orders, we'll do purchase orders at the end. Sometimes you would want to be able to take a payment in advance. And before this functionality came to be available a couple of years ago, uh, the only way to do that would be to take a incoming payment, as you can see here, for the customer and put it on account. And then it would show up in your receivables as a credit. And you'd have to remember when the sales order turns into an invoice, you'd have to go manually apply that payment to that open invoice. With this process, we don't have to do it well. I'll show you. It's very slick because the old method that I was just talking about, you would be diluting your receivables. So you'd be driving your receivable asset down by having all these credits. 